Okay, let's see. End of day seven. It's been a busy week. Uh, been spending a lot of time on this game. Still don't have a name for it. I need to come up with something. So if anybody has any ideas, please um, comment somewhere. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to let my kids name it if I don't have anything by tomorrow. But uh, right now it's still G1 or G1, Guan, however you want to say it. Um, don't know. So day seven, I didn't do a video yesterday on day six. Just got too busy, too late in the day. And by the time I, I got around to even being able to, it was, it was you know, 11 o'clock at night. Um, so I didn't, I didn't do a video yesterday. So I'm going to do a longer one today, probably closer to like 30 minutes. Um, but again, it's still, it's already getting late here again. But I don't want to go any further and then not remember all the stuff I did. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start now. And I think the easiest way to... To get into it is just start talking about the levels and uh, some of the some of the things I've done. So uh, I may be pulling up different uh, programs and stuff, and I'll slide those over onto the screen just to kind of show you some of the stuff I did. So speaking of that, first off, uh, talk about the animations I did a little bit, and I'll uh, kind of show how I how I did these. So we'll start off with uh, I guess fireworks first. So. Real quick to make this, uh, I didn't pay for these. They're super easy to make um, for me inside of Fireworks again. I really like Fireworks, so it's easy for me to use. Um, I just came in here and started playing around and came up with some of these graphics, and uh, I'll show you what I did there. I came over here and just started looking at auto shapes and seeing what was available, and I found this cool looking pinwheel. I said, well, that looks like a, a ball I could use, so I just dragged it over and I started playing with the settings, and. And kind of figuring out how it worked and found out I could hit the A key and, and you know, pick uh, sections selectively in here. So I uh, started doing that and I was like, well, this is kind of starting to work out to w the way I want it to. Then I could hit the v, v key for the uh, selection tool and I could go in and out and, uh, you know, so I can make some different cool kind of swirls and shapes and, and whatnot. So I just kept playing with that until uh, I got stuff I liked and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, kind of like this one, maybe, yeah, I'll just call it lemon lime or something. I don't know. That works. Um, so I'll do control C, control N, enter, control V. And it's way too big. I need to bring that down to 40 picks by 40 picks. And then I'll match the uh, fit canvas. And then I'll show you what I did with the uh, for the states. So to rotate this guy, uh, there's this cool little, um, let's see, feature. What is it? What am I looking for? Um, commands. So we're going to create a command. And basically what we're going to do is uh, modify it. And it's going to be, sorry, trying to find it here. Uh, transform. And then numeric. Where's numeric transform? So with that, we can go uh, rotate. And we can say, I think for this one, we'll do a reverse rotate. So negative 20 degrees. And I don't know if you saw, oh, I'm sorry, let me back up a second. So control Z, let's create new states because this is how you make animations and fireworks. I'm not going to do a whole tutorial. I'm just going to run through this real quick. Um, if you got questions, I, I'm sorry, but Google it. It's So a shortcut for what I just did, uh, commands, I'm sorry, modify, transform, numeric transform. I could also hit control shift T, uh, but I selected rotate and then negative 20. So I'm on state two. OK, and so it just rotated. I can see state one and then I can see state two. Now, the other thing I can see is up here, I got, where did it go? Up here, it's, I got, doo -doo 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 -doo. let me see. We got cross, state change, state change. That's not, that's not what I was looking for, though. Let me do one more. Duplicate state. OK. I'm going to control A, select in the document, control A, so duplicate state, select all, and then I will do control shift T, ah, I select it again, control shift T, and then minus 20 again, and the transform. So now what I can do is take these three, I can save them as a command, I can call it reverse, and I've already done this once, so I'll give it a different name. Reverse one time, I guess. So now, when I want to do that again, I can just go to commands. Whoops. Okay. I can go to commands, reverse one time. And what it, it just ran through all those steps again. So it uh, 
duplicated the state, selected everything on the page, and reverse rotated it at 20 degrees. Now I can do that again. Reverse one time. So that's basically what I did for every one of those. And then when I got to the end of 360 degrees, basically, so uh, I think it's 18 images is what it took uh, for 360 degrees. And then uh, the next time, so then, then I was able to go up and say each one of those command scripts, I was able to select all 17 of those and I saved those in as another command up here, uh, reverse 17 times because I already had the first one. So 17 more times would give me 18 images. So then I did a forward 17. So then all I had to do was bring, all I had to do was bring these images in and I'll back up and show you that. Uh, I can delete these states and then number one, I can then just select number one and say commands. And I think the one that worked right was full reverse rotate. So then I can click play and I can see I got, it's going through each of the states and it looks very smooth, perfect. Stop, file, save as, and characters, we'll make a new one. We'll call this lemon lime. Up. Windows 10 has been killing me with this. I don't know why it does that. It's like it tries to reorganize it. Uh, lemon, eh, lemon lime. And then, uh, let's see, we'll go lemon lime. So now we just save this. So if I ever want to come back and edit it for whatever reason, I can. But then we say Control Shift S to save as. Change this to, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. I should have exported Control Shift R. And we can come to, let's go find our folder, lemon lime. And I've been creating a folder called states. So I know it's the spin. And then in here we say states to files. And I undo the trim images because I've already trimmed everything and I don't want it messing with my images. So save. And then we can go to XN view and find it over there. Give me just a second. I'll pull it up. And then basically what it just did, it just saved all 18 of those uh, images into a folder for us. So here they are. Pull this over. Ah, what did it just do? Just minimize build box. Do, 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 do. There it is. Uh, so here it is. There's the, ah, can't really see. There it is. Lemon Lime, there's the file that holds all of the information. And then here's each of the state files. So then for that, all I got to do is select all, drag in, character. Wow, this is kind of cool. I'm making a video and I'm getting some stuff done. So perfect. And then BuildBox is going to take a while because my file has gotten so huge. This is the, uh, quite frankly, the ass pain I've been having to deal with most of the day today. I probably would have gotten twice as much done if I didn't have to wait 15 seconds to do everything. <sighs> it's a very unenjoyable user experience at this point, but still better than anything else I've gotten. I paid a lot of money for it, so I better use it. So anyway, here it is now. Um, it never get, actually takes the file name like the objects does. Another bug, but you can name it and it'll keep the name at least. Lemon Lime, there you go. You can come in here and you can see each of the states. You can even play it. You can see how it's going to look uh, on your final screen. You can slow it down here. You could say 0.5, that controls the speed. So well, it's supposed to control the speed. There you go. So you had to stop and start. Uh, so you can zoom in so you can see that uh, on YouTube. So we'll change that again back to, we'll change it to 0.1. Not that I would want that in my game because it's going to be going a little faster than that, but select all, change it back to one, and boom, that's what it's going to look like in the end game. So not too bad uh, for, you know, 10 seconds worth of work. And then, so now we want uh, the defeated animation portion. So what I was doing for that was pull back up fireworks. Again, I said you could selectively... You can hit the A key for the selection tool, which is this one. So A or one numeric keys uh, will give you your selection tool. So I've been doing that, selecting that, and then control copy, control, or control C for copy, control N for new, enter, control V for paste. And there is that little piece all by itself. So then I will control shift S 
and I've just been saving it to, to this part as part one, and then I will go get the other one real quick. Control, copy, in, uh, enter, paste, save, part two, and done with that. Now I can come back over here, see that part one, part two, and what you have to do is just drag it onto the page uh, as an object. Wait, 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 I'll pause so you don't have to watch this from now on. And part two, and pause, and unpause. So I just added those to the screen, just wanted to delete those off. And uh, those that have used BuildBox know I'm using a, a uh, what Trey Smith calls a stable bug. And so now for, sorry, I gotta get this over just a little bit. I'm trying to keep everything on one screen for you, but let's pull this over. And from here, so the trick is to drag an image, any image, onto the defeated anim animation, and go into it, immediately delete that. And then those objects I just dragged in, um, let's get down to them, all the way to the bottom. You go to, I still have this guy selected, so then I go to defeated animation, I open that up, and I drag these onto the screen. And then there's some very specific settings you have to have for these guys. Uh, don't make them touch each other because they're going to be, uh, what are they going to be, uh, what am I trying to say? They're going to be physics objects, so they will, uh, if you put them on top of each other, that's not physically possible because they can't occupy the same space in the same time, yada yada. But uh, anyway, so just make sure they're not touching with their, and I could go in and edit their collision, collision shapes over here if I wanted to. Um, I have crud. Uh, to make them a little more perfect, but it's really not that important at this point. Uh, I did it for all the other ones, but I'm not going to do it for this one right now. So let's go in there again. Uh, I think it actually just went behind the screen. Anyway, um, so then you come in, change them to physics objects, physics. Uh, you want the collide set, and then the tricky trick. Don't forget, this is the part you have to do. You have to do spawning. I've been setting that for three seconds permanent, and that's worked fine. Again, physics, physics. Uh, Spawning three seconds permanent. Now to make them kind of shoot out a little bit and when when you hit something they don't just kind of just like blah give them a little bit of life a little bit of movement um, give them some linear velocity so on the physics it'll look like they actually you know got thrown out or something off of the spin so in this case I want it to go up it a little bit so we'll give it 15 and then we'll, eh, we'll give it a little bit of variation there since we have it Five, and then uh, to the right is going to be a positive number, so 15, another 5, and a little bit of spin at 10. And collide, don't destroy, yep, that's all good. And then this one we want to go backwards and kind of downwards, so minus, uh, what do we say, 15 with the variation of 5, same here, minus 15, variation of 5, and we'll give it this a 10 also. And that looks good, it should work. Um, we'll close that, we'll save, uh, control S, and that'll take about 15 seconds, so pause. Okay, we're back. Um, I'll see, anytime you do that much kind of, that much work, you don't want to, you don't want to lose it on a crash, so I always control S, the thing. Uh, so we're back over here, and we'll drag in one of our sounds that, uh, to the defeated sound, and I just did some sounds, where do they go? So we're in graphics, I need to go back up to audio, more effects, deaths. Uh, we'll go, we'll make it a multi-spinner. There you go, sounds great. And we'll put that on the defeated animation, or defeated sound. And then the other thing we need to do, every one of these, so uh, camera flash, I give them about a 0.4. Uh, and then game over delay, I make that two seconds, which is one second shorter than the, uh, the spawn rate, and that's important. So one second shorter than the spawn rate, otherwise you'll, you'll have two show up uh, on the screen before the screen is actually over, and I can show you that in a sec. Uh, we'll make an in-game currency, and it's kind of cool, so we're going to make it 500 points. All right, that's it. That's done. We can go over here and refresh. And there she is for 500 coins. So I got this 5,000 piece set up so I can test this kind of stuff. Uh, pause, menu, 
get over here and click on it. We got it. We can come in here. We can test it. Looks pretty good. Right, so the pieces flew out. So sounds kind of cheesy, but uh, you think my design skills are bad? My audio skills are far worse. All right, that's that. So now I've explained how I made all the characters. I'm not going to talk about that again unless somebody has questions, but uh, that's that's the gist of my characters. Uh, so that's, uh, we'll get into, we'll go ahead and get into the levels. I think you've seen all of these previously. If I see anything I should talk about, I'll stop and talk about it. Um, I think I went over how to use the linkers, so... Uh, to make this a lot easier so that's a lot of this is really when the game started getting slowing down um, when I started adding tons of stuff like this so uh, easy way to uh, come in and do stuff like this you just hit the duplicate button because I've got them all linked together to this one object um, I've kind of showed that before and then I keep this off to the side that's the only reason it's over here uh, in case I need it later for for something uh, I didn't want to have to do all those linkers again so I just leave them off to the side but uh, yeah, I like these levels. Those, those seem to be the funnest so far, the most fun. Uh, these are spinners. I went over that the other day. Uh, spinners, I think I, I added in red boxes here, and that was just uh, because circles the, the circles are so hard to hit. So I put the squares in there. Let's see. This I'm still on the fence about because uh, once you get inside of this little cocoon thing, that, that kind of... It's, these three are stuck together, and I'll solo that here real quick. So these three are stuck together, and, and once you get in there, if you get in there right, oh, okay. something. and which is why I just got killed. One thing I forgot to do with that character, collision shape. Uh, polygon to circle, and then I put it just inside of the color about one there so restart I could tell as soon as he hit those that he I was like he should have fit in there um, so I added the if, if, if a player is pretty decent I think they'd be able to they're gonna figure out how to manipulate this and drive it basically which is kind of cool but I mean you could stay in it basically all day long if you got really good with it you could do far better than what I just did so I don't know might unlink them and, and do something else here uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Okay, unsolo that. Uh, nothing here. I did end up taking the the links off of this one. So before all these red ones were linked together with uh, with one with one line, and I, I removed that line. So none of them are linked together now. It's just kind of lame. Uh, so I took it off. It was it was not very fun for anybody that that tried my game. So. Uh, let's see, just, uh, yeah, nothing special there. Added these in, these were all moving. This was a little bit of a pain in the butt because uh, as soon as one of these was off just by a couple pixels, and here, I'll, I'll show you what it does. I just, I just, all I did was hit the arrow key right two times to move it over two pixels. And we'll solo this one and restart. Uh, the first one won't do it, the second one will. I don't know why, but it just, the way it was doing. Let me see. Okay, that's back. Control Y. We'll take this. I'll go off by just. I'll just go off by five so you can see it. See, it's just daisy chaining. They're daisy chaining around before before the user ever even gets there. Does anything because it was off just, and it was one of them that was. Just off I don't know which one was off by the pixel, but it was uh, it was causing a nightmare for me. Um, anyway, that took a long time to make that one. That was my whole point there. Uh, the house, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, just design I came up with. I don't know if I've talked about this one yet, but uh, I did add a doorknob uh, today, so I don't know if that was there in the last video. Uh, let's see. And then this one was just another geometric to to kind of break it up. I could just call it Zen. There's you can't die here, so but it was kind of cool. Um, and again, I put a, another one over here in case I want to do more or, or whatever. I can just hit D to duplicate that. Um, these are bonuses, nothing fancy there. So these, this is where I went into this whole, 
I did a whole other video on how to put a uh, wrap a player in a cocoon, but I'll go ahead and solo it here in case people haven't seen that video. Uh, pretty neat. And I did change these to circles from squares because the squares just looked kind of weird. So anyway, you get inside of this little cocoon and uh, you start slinging stuff around. It's kind of a protection. Uh, if you don't get in it, then uh, I should probably make it a little harder to get into. <laughs> Uh, if you don't get into it, you're not going to make it through that level. It's it's extremely difficult to try to navigate through. Trying to do that with a finger would probably be a serious pain. But anyway, I did a whole tutorial on how uh, on how this linker. I'm using the linkers here. Uh, basically, just there's a there's a hidden one here, and this is linked to the hidden one. And the hidden one is linked to all the other ones. The only thing that's making these spin is the speed and the torque. Uh, there's no there's no angular velocity set on anything. These guys have to be physics. If they're not physics, uh, you're going to get weird. Uh, and I'll change them back to platform so you can see what, what it looks like if you don't make them physics. Um, but, yeah, it came out pretty nice. I'll change all this back and I'm done. But put that back. Alt sometimes work, sometimes it doesn't. <clears throat> Let's see. So now when we do it, that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, I went around and around with that thing for hours, so I'm not, uh, I should probably leave it alone. Change them all back to physics. And put it back over here where it belongs. Let's see, restart, start. And then just goof that up. Nope, still works. Okay. Not too close. Too fast. All right. And next it's going to be. Hey, nothing special there. I did that yesterday. So cool design here. Uh, just triangles and patterns. And that's basically supposed to be an iPhone playing this game. Um, I don't know if anybody picked up on that or not yet uh, in the video I made earlier. But uh, there's your iPhone button, there's your speaker, your earpiece, um, whatever kind of cell phone. It doesn't have to be a, an iPhone. I mean, Samsung's look identical to iPhone, so it could be a Samsung S6. Uh, whatever. Uh, a little tougher geometry, so uh, this one's going to have a shooting guy come in now, so... Uh, it's still physics, but it's uh, this is getting kind of further along in the game, and so the, the gameplay is changing a little bit, um, but not too tremendously. This is just kind of a, hey, you watch out, and it's physics, so uh, it's just shooting in there. It's not actually, it's shooting in. It's not actually like uh, a fixed item or a fixed object. I wanted, I wanted physics on that, so kind of neat. Uh, this one, I, f I made this on accident, uh, but I thought it was super cool. Uh, very, very cool. So I'll solo it first, and then I'll explain what's going on with it. Um, let's see. Restart. See, so looking at it, it doesn't look like much. It's just kind of like, meh. And boom, it's an explosion. <laughs> Basically, all I did was I set spawners with no velocity, so... They just keep spawning right perfectly exactly on top of themselves and they don't uh, they don't go anywhere and i did this in uh, a, a game i made months ago that i was just like learning build box in and this was actually something i was i, I found then and had forgotten all about and then when i stacked all these on here and forgot to put velocities on them i was going to have them like shooting out and a uh, like a radiant pattern and when i i forgot to put the velocities in, and when i started i was like uh oh and before I could stop the game, one of the one of these green blocks had, had hit it. And all it takes is just a micro touch or something. And then because they're all physics objects, they all want to blow out from each other. If they were all fixed, they would just sit there, obviously. Um, but if they're because they're all physics objects, they actually blow out of it, blow outside of each other. So that was kind of cool, um, un unintended effect. And I'm sure that can be used in, in countless other ways, but that's how I'm using it. Uh, kind of an easier one to get through, but by the time you get here, it's it's cooking pretty good. You're going pretty fast. This was just meant to be uh, a little bit confusing. Uh, so the alternating star pattern, good luck trying to get through there without using like a special or something, I guess. So 
uh, getting into the point where I want people to start dying unless they really know what they're doing or they're uh, using their specials. Uh, kind of the same on here. And I'll go ahead and let me, here, I'll solo this one first and see if I can even get through it. I don't think I can. Yeah, I guess I can. Ah, okay. Anyway, kind of hard, but obviously totally doable. Uh, let's see here. This is not terribly hard. You just got to be, but... Normally, by the time you you get here, you're going to be somewhere in the in the low, you know, one fifth, maybe one fifties, two hundreds, uh, and you're going to the, the page is going to be cooking by pretty fast. So, uh, you know, it'll be difficult as, at the speed you'll be going by the time you get here. But right now, it's kind of going at a at a slower speed. Uh, so that's that. Next, this one. These spin around a fixed point or rotate, I should say. So. And I didn't solo again, so let me solo, stop. Uh, let me go menu, I want to pick a different something to use. Start. And so there's two spinning around uh, two separate points, and then on the side, <laughs> the sides, you have these four fixed spinners. Um, and they are actually fixed objects, so they don't, they won't move even if something bumps into them. Um, for anybody watching, there's a kind of a trick, not really a trick, but an easier way to get through, and it's just go on this side and just be patient. Um, any of the other ones, are you're going against them, so it's a little bit more difficult. But if you just stay over here to the right side, I found, oh, yeah, that's not so hard. It's a piece of cake. But, uh, again, this is going to be in the higher numbers, so anybody, Anybody that's already reached that is going to come up on it so fast that the first few times they see it, they're probably not going to know what to do, and then they've got to they've got to do it over again. So uh, I think that's it right now. That's really all I've got. Um, a couple little bennies, and I'm going to do a, probably a couple more, but I think I'm done for the day. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, twenty-eight levels. So I counted. I didn't. I don't want to make you watch me count, but twenty-eight levels total. Uh, counting the bonuses and these little Zen ones, so uh, I'll probably do. I'll probably round it off and make it like an even. Well, I would say 30, but uh, what I really want to do is uh, maybe tomorrow or tonight at the end here, <clears throat> kind of get to the end of this and then just make some kind of repetitive pattern so that I, you can I can make it endless from that point. So or maybe not endless. I don't. T I don't know. Back and forth on that. Maybe endless. Maybe I'll have a defined uh, end point, but. Anyway, back and forth on that, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. So that's that's the end. Uh, real quick, I got a few minutes left. I'm hitting about 28 minutes right now. So the audio that I, the song I decided to go with. Um, Enfilize from Thylize. I don't know. I tried to do a Google search. I don't think it's really a word. It means something in Spanish like uplifting. I think. Uh, but anyway, this is the uh, this is the song. It's got the right licensing. Uh, it's free, so the price is right. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use that. And uh, Newgrounds. If you haven't been to Newgrounds, they got this is where all the music for uh, <clears throat> what is that Geometry Dash. This is where all that that music for that comes from. Um, started a long time ago and it's it's grown over the years it's pretty much all just free stuff um, artists trying to get you know discovered and whatnot so check it out uh, if you haven't already uh, they're uh, free sounds so also get into free sounds some of the audio bits and bytes I used in the game uh, which isn't much because I'm terrible with audio so I'm trying to keep it at a very minimum um, but you can come there's I mean there's links look in the forums look online basically you just do a do a Google search and you're gonna find a bunch of stuff. Free game sounds. You got freesound.org and opengameart.org. A couple I like. There's there's tons of them out there. Go find some free stuff. It's really just a matter of of spending the time to go through them. So I think I spent like three hours today and I found one song that I liked and you know maybe ten ten sound bites that I liked. Um, but it takes me forever. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, let's see what's 
last. What else did I want to show? Oh, so how to put those in? I don't. I don't think I showed that. The sound actually comes in here. You just drag and drop from from wherever you're trying to put it, just like the other ones. Stop that. Just like the other ones. You, you, so for the main. So here's something. Uh, I didn't. I didn't get this right off the bat with the first game I did. Uh, when you're playing the game, so you're going to come in. You got the start menu, which is just your load screen when they when they you first push start on the on your tablet or, or mobile device. Then you get that main menu. So this is where if you want your game to have one song that just repeats over and over throughout the whole thing, no matter what menus they go to, no matter what they do in the game, they go play the game, they die. And, uh, <laughs> what the heck was that? Why didn't he die right off the bat? Something's not set to an enemy. I'll have to play with that. Um, <clears throat> But so that the music, just no matter what you go into, it's always the same. You want to set it in the main menu. That's that's the song that we'll play here. And the only thing that's really going to trump that is if you set uh, sounds in, in the other option places here. For instance, I already added the song in, so I'm just going to go find it. New grounds and finalize, or however you say that. And then over here I'll put, I don't know, this is probably going to be a disaster. Because... Uh, da, 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 da. We'll put the pink pen well death and see what happens. This will be good. So there you can see basically what was going on is because I set the uh, Infinalize song to the menu here, it was fine. Uh, it worked. But as soon as I went to the game field, it played the pinwheel and it just kept looping that. So what we'll do now is we'll reverse that. We'll say game field is going to be the Infinalize song. I hope I'm saying that right. And... Over here, we'll make it the, the pink pinwheel death. So, restart. Do that again. So hopefully that makes sense now, uh, because Pinwheel D is a song here. That's the song you're going to get. Now let's say we wanted to have nothing in here and have this be the Infinalize song. And oh, came up. I thought I was hitting the glitch. I had a glitch with this earlier. I had to close everything and restart. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so now we can go restart. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. Now because I only have it in the main menu, it's just going to keep playing. No matter how many times I die in the game, it's just going to loop that song that was set in the main menu. Uh, and if you notice, when I went into the shop, it also kept playing that song. It didn't, didn't change, didn't stop, didn't do anything. But let's see what happens if we put the pink pen wheel of death in there. And we will restart. <laughs> like nothing. And I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be, but you uh, you put the pink pen wheel of death on the shop, you think you go into the shop, you're going to get the shop, but 
uh, you go in there and you know you don't get it. So I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be. Maybe this was an afterthought putting it on these, or, or, or I don't know what, but it doesn't work. Um, try this one just for uh, being sure to restart this. Thing. Hey, hey, pause. So you pause, you get the. Okay, so the pause screen works. I don't know why the shop doesn't work. Uh, info screen, let's try that too. We'll give it the, uh, I don't know, the blue pen wheel of death. Uh, restart. And... Yep, that's going to work too. I can't get to the end screen. So perfect, so that's audio. Don't know why the shop's not working, but looks like the rest do. Um, the green and the game over screen, you could probably set that one. Oh, let's try it. Uh, we'll go to kill all. No, invincible now. Yeah, um, multi spinner, I guess. Okay, oh, let's restart. that one should maybe it's because and I haven't tested this far but maybe if this one if this one doesn't have a sound and this one does then when you end it'll it'll play it for you but anyway play with it that's the idea the big thing I learned was that I had to have one in here to make the whole thing work anyway that's enough time on that all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call that good and wrap it up I did add some sounds to the uh, Default animation that seemed to crash it earlier. I'm going to test that again here in a minute. But uh, yeah, so the biggest part of today, the biggest challenge was uh, finding the sounds. That's uh, those are the biggest challenge challenges uh, sound and then making all the. Uh, I spent a lot of yesterday making the characters, the spinning characters, and, and getting those uh, done. And I mean, it, you know, it's not and it's not slow. And then dragging everything in, and then. A lot of uh, dealing with a lot of crashes. I think I'm somewhere around probably 30 crashes on BuildBox today. Uh, usually, I'm, I almost always saved everything. So, um, oh, I don't think I showed this the action animation for Invincible. Again, I, I did it just the way I did the other ones. Uh, save it, you can see that there. Spinning. So, what that basically does, and I may change this to something else. Um, I don't know, something a little, something a little heavier, but. Let's see here. We'll go to the shop. We'll buy some stuff because we just got 5,000 points. Um, and what was happening, I think what was happening earlier is I had I had my sound program open. I was using, a, what was it, Adobe Sound Booth. And I created the MP3 file and then I dragged it in for the kill all animation, this uh, kill all sound. And then every single time that I hit the, uh, that I used used it in game it crashed it crashed the whole thing it would crash it so uh, it's not doing it now I don't think we'll see um, and here's the so that's the kind of uh, invincible uh, wheel and now I'm not let me go back and uh, I'll let you hear it oh, yeah. nah that's not important uh, let me see if I can crash it real quick show you what a real build box crash looks like Uh, another thing I learned, uh, let me see, how can I explain this? Uh, da, 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 da. So here is what I learned. If, you take, if, I, if I use the invincibility, and that's good for five seconds, but then I do a uh, kill, all, kill all enemies, which is only, only going to last for two seconds, uh, what it was doing, and here I'll show you right here. So five, that's supposed to last for five seconds when I click on that. Um, that's the idea. Five seconds and, and nothing can hurt me. And I get a little beep right before it's supposed to stop. And then the wheel disappears and I'm back to normal. So let me see if I can make this happen here. Invincibility, new call. 
Ah, it's not doing it this time. Okay. It worked the way it was supposed to. Oh, I know. Well, let me check. Let me try this again. Maybe it was the strike I was using. So, do that. And then I'll go strike. Nope. I don't think it was doing it this time. It might have just been, uh, uh, okay. Um, I'll leave it alone. Never mind. But it had to do with the timing. So, uh, the invincibility is supposed to be good for five seconds. The strike is only good for a second or I think two seconds. So if I clicked invincibility and then strike, uh, I don't know why somebody would do that, but I was just testing, trying everything I could. Um, if somebody hit the invincibility and then the strike immediately after one another, they would still have that ring around them, but they wouldn't be invincible. So probably most users would never catch that, but you know, it's one of those things I was just, you know, user testing. So that's it. All right, I think that is it. Yeah, that's all I'm going to talk about today. So for tomorrow, it'll be uh, talking about project settings. I'll start getting my icons made. i got to come up with a name by tomorrow. Uh, I want to get this all done before the weekend's over and call complete start to done in, you know, seven, eight days. In a week, eight days, really. So advanced gameplay we'll be messing with. Tomorrow we'll be messing with. Uh, I'll be going through a lot of this stuff, getting all these set right to send off to the guy to build my file, the APK and the iOS apps, uh, advertisements, getting that set up, and get my HayZap info in there, priority list. Maybe I'll talk about that a little bit tomorrow. Um, but that's really it for now. Uh, one last thing, I just paused to try to make sure I remembered everything. So one last thing, I did do tools today and uh, removing unused level objects. Um, removed dead. It's so uh, I don't know if you can you can't read that, but it says a uh, cleanup finish removed 111 dead unit objects. So that's good, I'm, I'm guessing. And then unused image objects uh, didn't have any of those, but I just did it recently. So and then sound objects I'm not going to remove because I still want to use some of those. But convert to clones uh, I'll have to explain that tomorrow because uh, yeah anyway uh, I don't really understand it 100. percent I've read about it in the manual. Uh, makes it seem like that if you have a hundred of these little blue guys on the screen, uh, that basically you can take the like one of them and will become the the guy with all the the details on it. I don't know if somebody can explain that a little better. Better, uh, please do. So, okay, that's it. I don't have anything else to talk about except uh, you know this is all completely off the cuff. So I apologize if sometimes I stutter or I back up or I don't say things. Uh, sometimes they don't sound a hundred percent right. I've gone back and watched a couple of the videos and I'm like, oh, that's not exactly what I mean, meant, or oh, I used the wrong word. I said I did do something when I meant to say I didn't do something. So I'm sorry, I'm not video editing all this stuff because that would just take way too much time. I'm, I'm trying to get the game done and to take an hour to make a video each day is, you know, taken away from game time and I got a life and all that other stuff going on and work. So uh, apologize for, for any anything you catch, you know, you can point it out if you want, but uh, I get it. Um, just understand that. And uh, so people have been, uh, also people have been commenting and uh, subscribing to the YouTube channel. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, for all, a couple guys said, hey, you just posted this tip and I had a question about it. So I thought that was kind of cool that people were, you know, they were subscribing as soon as I put a video up. They're like, oh, that's cool, but what about this? And uh, so subscribe, like, or whatever. Um, I appreciate it. And that's all. Thanks, guys.